On May 22nd, 2018, Enmas has released the Harpy update. In this update, we receive the new Harpy character, Yuri's special agent promotion, and Grimori's laboratory. In this video, I will be talking about the sectors of Grimori's laboratory and the special PNA. For this content, I recommend a total combat power of 450,000 or more. You can use any gear setup that can put you at this combat power, or you can use my suggested gear setup. A creator or an extreme core, enhance it plus 12. A creator module, enhance it plus 11. An extreme module, enhance it plus 11. Any two extreme trinkets. For most classes, it's the necklace and the ring. For Tina's, the two suggested extreme trinkets would be the ring and the doll. A three-piece disaster set, which includes the trinkets and a module, and a creator necklace trinket. You can have lesser gear, but it's just going to take more effort to clear the dungeons. There are three types of sectors in Grimori's laboratory, Mindworks, Bodyworks, and Grimori's Central Laboratory. Mindworks and Bodyworks are considered the side dungeons. They can be cleared on your own if you meet my total combat level suggestion. For Grimori's Central Laboratory, I suggest finding a party if you're at my suggested total combat power. I was able to solo the Central Laboratory with a total combat power of about a million. The gameplay in the background is of the Mindworks sector. There's one main gimmick about the sector. Grimori will ask numerous trivia questions about the world's NPCs, and you answer with true or false of the circle or of the X. I will keep a list of questions and answers in the comments section, since there's quite a lot of them, and I may miss out on some if I include them in the video. The main gimmick of the Bodyworks sector are the anti-gravity fields. They are telegraphed with a circle that has a circle inside that expands to the outer circle. To avoid damage, you must avoid being inside the circle when the inner circle reaches the outer circle. The boss of both the Mindworks and the Bodyworks sectors is Dr. Grimori's clone. This boss is not very gimmicky, but his attacks are not well telegraphed and comes out very fast. Try to use skills that reduce his damage while Grimori is attacked and then counterattack while Grimori is recovering from his attacks. When the clone reaches about 40 bars of health, the clone will summon two trucks. You can use either combat dodge or iframes to avoid them. Now I will talk about Grimori's Central Laboratory. It is a relatively difficult dungeon that I'd recommend to tackle this dungeon with a party of four. Grimori starts a fight by throwing trucks at you. Avoid the telegraphed circles. Grimori does not have many gimmicks that stops the flow of the fight, but there are some attack patterns that are highly damaging that you would want to avoid. One such attack pattern is her charge, and she begins to pummel the ground, avoid it at all costs, or use iframes, but skills that give you damage reduction won't save you because the damage is too damn high. One other attack to be wary of is Grimori's Grab. It has a high armor crash level, meaning it could grab you through most finishing moves. Worst of all, it has no charge up animation, so you'll need to keep your cancel handy. After dealing enough damage, phase 2 will begin. Grimori will begin to throw two large land masses at you. You'll need to get into the center, marked by the green icon. After taking some damage in phase 2, Grimori will enter an enraged state. Grimori will take less damage when she's doing her attacks during this phase. Her charging attack also lasts indefinitely during this phase, unless you lead her into one of those green balloon animals, which stuns her, allowing you to deal more damage to her than before. That's about it for the Grimori Central Laboratory. If that's all you needed, you can click off the video. From this point onwards, I will be going over the Special PNA. The Special PNA is a new section in the PNA page that was added with this update. To upgrade your Special PNAs, you will need something called an Evolution Point. These can be obtained by doing the Grimori Laboratory sectors. There are 10 Special PNAs in total, each giving different stats. 
For a damage setup, generally you would want to max the special PNA that gives raw, and the special PNA that gives airstrike or chase if you're Tina, and the back attack special PNA. I would also max the attack speed or movement speed special PNA, which helps with clearing non raid content faster. There are 4 items that can assist you in upgrading special PNAs. The PNA upgrade formula increases the success rate. The PNA upgrade shortcut reduces the evolution materials needed. The evolution acceleration battery which isn't as useful, and a perfect PNA evolution kit which does everything. I use the upgrade shortcut for evolutions with a success chance of 80 or higher. Otherwise, I would use the upgrade formula, and for more bid rates like 50% or so, I would use the full kit. And that's about it for the Grimoire guide. Sorry for the late upload. Real life has gotten very busy, but everything is settling, so I'll be able to upload these guides faster next time. If this guide was helpful, please give it a like. If you have any questions, post it in the comments below and I'll try to answer. I'll see you guys in the next video.